All right, students, uh, what we're going to do is apply a finish to our product. Um, as we enter into the finish room, a few things I want to point out to you before we even get in there is this container to my left here, this is where we throw any of the flammable materials uh, such as any paint rags, uh, newspaper, just about anything that we use in this whole process of finishing gets to put uh, needs to be placed into that container for any fire uh, safety wise. Um, this here is actually what controls the on off for the vent. Uh, you can hear the vent fan running. I'm going to shut that off for this demonstration so you can actually hear what I'm going to say. So as we enter into this room here, uh, we do have our fire safety cabinet here which stores all of our finishes, um, all of our spray cans, top and bottom, some of our lacquer thinners, and other supplies that we need for class. Uh, when you go to pick out a can of uh, spray paint, uh, you want to actually take a look at the label that's on here to indicate to yourself what color that really is. If you go by just the cap with the color of the cap, um, somebody could take and switch caps on you really easily, and you might end up with a color choice that you don't like. So we're going to shut the cabinet here. Always make sure that that is shut whenever you select items out of here or put items back. Okay. So as we start to look around our room here, uh, you definitely need your personal protective equipment such as your safety glasses on. These here are located next to the sink. You know where that is. You should have them on by now anyways. Next thing you need is a paint apron. Okay. This apron uh, simply goes over your head and you tie the apron back. Um, so this is to protect your clothing. This is again found over by the sink. Uh, you know where the sink is, so please help yourself with that item. Okay. Um, next, we have a few other items here. We have a spike board. Uh, there's a whole plethora of spike boards in the rack here. You can select one of them out. Your box needs to set on there correctly. If your box tips, you know, tends to fall off, go ahead and take the hammer and some nails and add a few more nails into the spike board. Okay, and always, oops, always make sure you put the container uh, back with the lid on it and your hammer next to it. Okay, so we have our spike board. We have my sheet metal box obviously sitting here. We have some paper towel. The location of that paper towel, where I got that from, is actually right above this fire safety cap right here. So if you need some more, please help yourself. And when you're done, please put it back there. So we're gonna peel off just a little bit of paper towel today and we're gonna take and wipe out all of the excess uh, you know, items from our box, such as our fingerprints. We're gonna try to get those off. Um, we're gonna wipe out some of the uh, paste flux, okay, whatever other items that we have on here. Once that is, uh, you're done with that, we're gonna take and throw that in the fire safety cabinet, uh, the waste disposal just outside the door in just a little bit. But for now, I'm gonna set that there so we can move forward. I have my masking tape, I have my pattern that I built my pro project from. Uh, this will come in handy in a little bit with our next feature video. So uh, for the time being, I'm gonna grab my spike board, tape, and box, and we're gonna head over to our next station here. All right, so I'm gonna set all these items down first. Um, I need some newspaper. You're gonna take your newspaper, Okay. You're going to pull some out, and this is where we get to do a little bit of reading for the class. You know, you get to pick one of these articles, take a look at it. Uh, when you're done with that, go ahead and put it actually in your spray booth. This is the spray booth. So you're going to do all of your painting inside of that spray booth. Not out here on the counters, not here on the walls, inside of the spray booth only. Okay? You and a friend are the only two that are allowed in this room. So you, you, and one other person, okay? So two people allowed in here so we can actually do some work, uh, maintain a cleanliness environment, and also maintain uh, some safety in here. So once you have your newspaper laid out inside of your spray booth, uh, that's where I'm gonna take my spike board. I'm gonna set my spike board down, okay? Then I'm gonna take the back of my sheet metal box here. I'm gonna leave that up. I'm gonna finish the bottom first then I'm going to flip it right side up and I'm going to put some uh, finish on the inside and then I'm going to set it up in the drying rack next. Okay, so I'm going to set that down there. First product I'm going to use today is our primer. 
this is the actual uh, spray can of primer. Uh, the primer itself adheres to bare metal. Uh, it has some uh, additives in it that makes it more of a durable uh, bonding agent to the raw metal. Um, when we go to use this, you might need to read some of the product directions here for dry time. Um, I'm estimating out about a 10 minute dry window uh, between when I apply a finish and when the finish is dry enough to move forward with the next step. Okay, So always make sure that you apply your primer first to your bare metal. Um, I've also selected out here a top coat which is an enamel which is a really glossy finish. Um, to go over the top and I'll do that second here, okay? So I've chosen my can of primer. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna tip it upside down. I'm gonna shake this up for a good 30 seconds or so. And once it's ready to go, okay, um, I'm gonna remove the lid. And to remove the lid, you simply squeeze the top of the lid and the lid comes off. Okay, next we take our nozzle here and you notice there's the white end on the nozzle, then the red depressing uh, button here that will dispense the, the paint out of the container. We wanna make sure that that is pointing away from us. Um, the paint is very toxic to our, our skin and can, uh, if gotten in your eyes, can cause some serious eye damage, okay? I'm gonna use my right hand, I'm a right-handed person, so right hand is gonna grab hold of my paint can, uh, finger is going to depress the trigger on top or the button, Okay, and I was taking just kind of clear the tip uh, off on the uh, extra newspaper uh, to the side of my project. Okay, I'm gonna hold my paint can about eight inches away, uh, 68 inches away is what's recommended by the uh, manufacturer of the product. So as I start to apply my paint, I'm going to swing across the surface, depressing the trigger on the left side, all the way across, then releasing it on the right side. Depressing it on the right side, all the way across, releasing it on the left. It's best to put three or four light coats on than it is one heavy coat, okay? I'm gonna set the can down just for a second. We'll grab, oh, let's grab my paper here. Okay, we'll do a little investigation. So you see this row of paint right here. This is a good job done. It's just right, just enough paint being applied this is gonna dry just fine. Um, I'm gonna put a couple more coats on like that and I will have a nice base for my top coat. Then if we look up here, this is too far away. The can was held too far away from the surface, not enough paint being applied. This here example is too close. Um, so we have the good, the, the okay, and the yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's too much paint in one spot. We got too many runs. This will show up in your final coat and you will be assessed on that. Okay, so we want a good job done. So please take a look at this as you come into the finish room. It'll be sitting right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put another coat on here. Again, fairly quickly we can cover that. Once you get one coat on, we can actually take and flip this right side up, set it on our spike boards, and we can rotate our product, do all the exterior surfaces, all the interior surfaces. Now again, you should always have the fan on, okay, that'll be drawing the smoke up or the uh, paint residue up and out of here. Always put your can, uh, the lid back on the can. This can of primer will sit right here, okay, so that way all of you remember to use it prior to grabbing your top coat, okay. Your top coat will go back into the yellow cabinet when you're done with it, okay. so. We're gonna use that in just a second. Next, we're gonna take our freshly painted item here. We're gonna put it up in our drying rack. Um, notice on our drying rack, we have all of these projects out here. Then we have our labels on our projects. So we, we can tell whose is whose. So this is done correctly. This one is done incorrectly. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we label it. That's where the tape comes in really handy. So we're gonna take a little bit of tape and you know, put it on there after we get done painting it. Put our name across there, and then we're gonna set it up in the rack. But in lieu of time, I'm gonna move on with just this guy here for the next example. So once I have my primer coat on here, okay, I'm gonna put it back into my spray booth here. And again, if you need fresh newspaper, please use some. I'm gonna take my enamel top coat, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put a top coat of purple paint across the surface. Okay. So as we take a look at how that is flowing, um, hopefully yours flows a little bit better than this uh, paint can did. Um, you're going to put a top coat of whatever color you choose on your surface of your box. And we're going to put this back up into the rack okay, and let that dry. All right, now it's time for a little bit of cleanup. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap my newspaper up here. Okay. We're going to take this item, the paper towel that I've had here. We're going to walk right out to our um, disposal and we're going to put it in there for Jerry to take care of in a little bit. So that's one part of the cleanup. Next part of the cleanup is actually put away our paint can and that'll go right into our flammable container here sitting on the top shelf. Always make sure you shut your door and you are ready to go for the next step. Okay, so good luck. Hopefully you have a nice smooth finish when you're all done.